Hi guys, George from Cyprus Insight and today we're just outside Limassol guys in a quaint little village Monaguri it's called we're not far from the highway we've just come into the village it looks like it's made up more of uh, modern houses beautiful modern houses and I suspect the older part of the village is behind us and towards the right so we'll go and have a look at that in a minute now I've just come across the old church I'll go around the other side you can see it looks like uh, the gates locked for the church grounds and we've got an unusual bell tower looks like it's uh, just been added on or restored recently this looks like it's a little mini bell tower look you see unusual isn't it I'll tell you what let's go around the front maybe the gates open at the front oh lovely breeze today here we are let's have a look now it's all locked up guys but I'll show you the lovely little church lock can you see so there you are what we do we'll go round guys to the other part of the village now I did spot a larger church further on up the hillside can you see straight ahead you see a big building with a bell tower lots of modern buildings lots of modern houses now we have got a date guys 2010 so it looks like it's been restored recently or in the past 15 years right what we'll do we'll go back down towards the car and we'll take the road up the hillside up there you see looks like we've got a row of brand new terrace houses I can't see any old houses now there is a tunnel in this village and it takes you to the sea we're quite far from the sea so that's uh, unbelievable really but apparently there is there's a tunnel goes underneath and then to the sea and apparently many many years ago hundreds of years ago a bit like England really where bits of Cyprus or bits of England were owned by wealthy families and the queen of this area escaped through the tunnel when uh, this uh, village was looted or raided by some sort of thieves so there is a tunnel somewhere I'm not sure where it is maybe we'll come across it right so we've driven up to the hillside and it looks like this is the older part of the village and you see up there oh, we we'll walk up there shall we to the larger church now I presume this church was built after the small one down below but I'm not too sure guys normally it is just before we go up here we'll have a look down this bit here and I'll show you this guys looks like it's an old press and it's just been dumped here or left here in the field look can you see it? I think it's an old olive press there's the bottom there and then you can see the big corkscrew at the top there see that there's a press there see? oh one minute guys one moment this spins round it's got a cog here and that's spinning round and then there's some holes here and a pipe running through one minute let's have a look I wonder why that wheel this bit here spins around 
Yeah, possibly. That spins round as well and it crushes the olives. That makes sense. Well done, crew. So we think it's an olive press, an old olive press. How about that? That'd be a nice little feature in your garden, wouldn't it? Right. I don't think we'll pick that up, though. Right, so we're going uphill, Nick. And this is where Nick's parents come from. Nick's in Australia now. Oh, look at this little pergola, look. Got a clock. What's this, an old house? Oh, there's an old house right next to the church. Looks like they're using uh, locally sourced stone. There it is. Can you see? Right, we'll carry on through. It's pergola, isn't it lovely? We're going to go up this hill. There's a the pergola, look. Oh, there's a little fountain. There's three fountains in this village. There's one of them. Nice, isn't it? Yeah, lovely. Yep. Fresh drinking water. Brilliant. How about that? There's another old house, totally restored. Look, and he's used traditional blue. A little park on the side. And then another lovely old house next to it. Look at this one. That's nice, isn't it? Two story now. This is definitely an original old village house. Someone's restored or partly restored. Hello. What's it got growing here then? Oranges or lemons? Lemons looks like we've got lemons growing in this garden. Stones. Right, let's carry on up, shall we? There we are. There's the old village. This is the bit I like. Up we go. Right, it looks like the road splits here. This lovely old house. And we'll go right. There we are. Oh, it looks like we're coming up to a little village square where we've got uh, a restaurant stroke cafe and the fountain. Oh, this is nice. Isn't it quaint? Isn't it lovely? Oh, what a nice place, Nick. I love it. I don't think we're going to find the tunnel that goes down towards the sea. We must be, we must be about four kilometres away from the sea. It's long and thin, apparently. Oh, I don't know about that, guys. Anyway. Apparently the Queen went through the tunnel to escape robbers. Right, let's see if the church is open. This is the big church. Oh. Yep, church grounds are open anyway. Actually, you could have gone round the little cafe as well. Right, let's go and establish the name of this church. Beautiful bell tower, lovely carvings and stone, everything's stone, but uh, it's all block stone, guys, so might be quite new. Oh, here we go, built in the 1900s, here we are, exactly 1900. Just wait for the crew, they can read Greek. They've been taking Greek lessons. So here we go guys, that's the name of the church. Aeos Theodoro or Theodoros. I wonder if it's open. Let's have a look. No, it's not open guys. Church is closed at the moment, it doesn't matter. No worries. Here's the second fountain. There it is. Yeah, 
they look like they're all the same aren't they with uh, the flower all the way around the tap oh this one's not working oh yes it is guys if you do this tap here there you go okay i'll switch that off so this feeds it there you go switch that off and now that's off as well okay so that tap is feeding the main tap right let's go to the back of the church because we'll get a good view of the village it looks like it's, it's in a valley well we're on the hillside and then we've got a valley going down haven't we oh yeah there's some original carvings some original columns or part of columns don't know where they've come from right can you see there we are there's a car park down there we were part and there's a lovely house that we've um, just now filmed I think there's people still living in there got an old tin roof patched it up there we are there it is there you can see it is there some people living in there do you think possibly not sure and then we'll go round there's one here it's being restored there it is look builders are in there at the moment I think he's building a balcony can you can you see two stories now it looks like they've actually used original building materials normally it'd be mud but um, it's not a cement I don't know what they've used but it doesn't look like a cement well, it could be a white cement mixed with hay not sure different anyway oh what's down there I was a valley down there guys and I suspect that's where the river would run down when it's raining you see there's loads of uh, trees and uh, cane or bamboo growing down there you can always tell it's wet so let's go past the fountain oh shame there's no water in it very quiet isn't it I haven't seen anyone yet only that builder one person oh look he's doing a he's doing up number five I think there it is and it says on it old coffee shop it's not now I don't think but they've put a plaque on there look made of stone look and I suspect that this was the old coffee shop. Right, let's go down. This is the best part, guys. Down here is yet another one of these little two-story houses. Look, there it is. Can you see? And the little courtyard or avli call it here we are wow can we get in this place let's have a look no nope. it's all locked up there we are we've got original beams one going across here okay right we've got two stories let's go to the side and we'll be able to have a look there we are okay there and then the outdoor kitchen or outside kitchen that's this bit here okay that'll be the kitchen some outbuildings there and there and then the main little house so it could be bedroom or front room okay here and definitely bedroom upstairs guys okay and then you would sit there or in the little court yard for your dinner 
and that's how most of the Cypriot houses were built you see with a wall all the way round the Avli or the courtyard same with this one next door really there's a little courtyard yeah, they've made it into a garden and this one goes around the corner you see and being extended obviously and another one straight ahead quite a few empty houses and there's one down there it's for sale look right on the corner big one let me show you one more don't want to bore you with the same thing oh there's the cafe up the road Calimera look there's another one can you see two stories this one's quite posh it's got a balcony there and there's another balcony in this one there we are you're from this village yeah yeah yes but you went to australia me, me, i am still there oh you come from australia holiday yeah oh you okay i'm living here right I, I, i've been in australia 40 years and i come every second years right so you live in australia yeah, and every couple of years you come, come to this village because you're originally from I this born here oh you were born here what the name of the man right so nick asked us to have a look around Dimitri. so this is dimitri guys and he, he's from staying australia. from australia and he's going to be staying here for another four months and then he's back to australia whereabouts in australia are you living melbourne melbourne Melbourne. Melbourne guys is going back to Melbourne. So we'll see you again. Yeah. Thank you very much, Thank Dimitris. You. There you are. So that's Dimitris from Australia. There we go. Right, where were we? Number 15. There we are, number 15. There we are. We've got a balcony and there's a courtyard behind it. There's the cafe. There you are, the little village cafe and look at this one guys this one must have been quite posh look oh tripped over watch the steps partly restored i do believe there we are oh look at this one look totally restored something behind there the old palace you see that so this whole place is littered with history guys right down we go so we've only got a small population 700 Galimera there's the cafe look everyone's having their morning beer morning beer in the cafe there we are and this one's for sale guys can you see been totally restored there we are nice village and this is the third and final fountain there we are doesn't look like this one's working at all look nice uh, feature though good for the plants right so we're gonna head back towards the car and then we're gonna drive down because apparently this village goes on a bit right down towards the sea and that's why it's got a tunnel into the sea because this village goes down further a few kilometers right one more urban exploring guys this little lovely house on the corner that's open we're going to go and have a look inside here we are there's a courtyard let's go inside there's a courtyard look can you see big courtyard this must have been a big house guys at the time we've got the steps going upstairs to the bedrooms and we'll go up there in a minute there's the kitchen we go inside big butler sinks look we've got two of them we've even got some plates left behind and an old fridge look at that that's old isn't it what is it a GEC there we are 
Okay. And then uh, go across the courtyard to the bedrooms. There's one of the bedrooms. Okay, there we are. There's one of the bedrooms. And what we've got in here, guys. Right, we've got um, the old key. There we are, just been left here. Right, it looks like his jacket's left here. There we are, all dusty. And some old chairs. And there's the old oven. There we are. It's collapsed. Look at that. And there's some more outbuildings, guys. There we are. And this one's just left open. Look. There we are. Now, this is below road level, guys. That's why it's quite damp. Years ago, maybe... They might have kept some animals in here. Can you see there is a shelf? So they might have slept in here, but there's no windows. So possibly for animals. And what we got in this bit here? Same again, guys. It's below road level, but this one's got a window. Okay, we've got a window here. Massive courtyard. carry on left look there's the front of that house and you see we went up this up the stairs and that's upstairs this is upstairs and down there guys below road level was those two rooms we went there's the second room you see that'd be a nice project for restoration wouldn't it big guys and he's Looks like he had his jacket hanging up, all covered with dust. Now we've got to find the car. I think it's right, isn't it? Oh yes, here we are guys, back to the car park. So we've been round the church, round the local cafe. And we've seen a few lovely abandoned houses. Oh look, there's some millstones, guys. Look, can you see them? There's three of them here. Okay. And back to the old press. Just lying there, waiting for, to be restored. Right, we're heading out now. I think we saw the most interesting part of the village, the lovely old houses. I love those old abandoned houses. On my left looks like the town hall. Look at that. Very impressive. Nice. Yeah, there we are. Community Council. really clean and tidy as well isn't it right so we're heading towards the sea okay and it looks like the village continues on yeah there's the new houses on my right so it is continuing only two kilometers, so I'm not sure. Let's have a look. Let's go right anyway to see. Now, I think this village stops where the highway is, but uh, apparently not. Apparently, it keeps going. Well, yeah, we've got more houses. Okay. What's that on my left? Churches. That's the more churches on my left. Okay. All right, we've got fields. Left them. Oh no, there's some more houses. So yeah, they'll be part of this village. Yeah, there we are. So this must be the outskirts. Lots of olive groves, well that makes 
makes sense, doesn't it? We saw the olive press. See, there's a sign there, and it's uh, it says you're leaving the village. So, don't understand that. So we've made it to the beach guys and the village comes all the way down to this seafront. Okay guys and what we do, I'm gonna it's quite windy. I'm gonna get back in the car and then we'll drive back towards the village and we'll show you the wibbly wobbly road that takes us up into the center of the village. Right, so we've left the air conditioning on a little bit so we've got a little bit of noise and I'm going to drive just here, this dirt road, just turn the camera to my left. I wonder if that's where the tunnel comes through. Never know. Anyway, I'm going to turn around guys because it's too rough for the car. There's the coast and this, and this is where the village ends at the sea. I'll take you back through the wobbly wibbly road. somewhere you'd like me to go put it in the comments below